Hello, welcome back. Last time we talk about ASCII, right? Uh, have you fully understand the ASCII code, uh, which is uh, American standard code for information interchange? And from there, we went to the uh, Wikipedia. Uh, we have an interesting binary uh, kind of table use a binary point of view to look at this ASCII table, right? And we also kind of read it and uh, talk about the history of the ASCII code. And it's a seven bit uh, for interchange information, mostly for Western uh, character, right? Alphabet, A, B, C, D, number, etc. But there are some, uh, issues of uh, ASCII because uh, not everyone speaks in English. Uh, maybe some of you speak uh, Korean, Chinese, right? So how do we represent ASCII, uh, uh, represent the language, the letter beyond ASCII? Uh, that will become the issue, but that's a Unicode issue. So uh, uh, we we have a look at this t table to represent the decimal uh, uh, base 10 system uh, or base 16 hexadecimal. We can uh, see uh, from 0 to uh, to 31 uh, is actually the control code invisible or, or non-printable. From 32 to uh, uh, 32 to uh, to here is kind of a uh, 30 uh, 64 is uh, more than uh, some kind of uh, symbols right and uh, number right and uh, capital letter A B C D and small letter A B C D right so we can we can try to use a Python code to examine is it uh, correct or not. So if you are not familiar with this, uh, remember to go back to here. Uh, so I would like to use this great opportunity to uh, to talk about this table, okay, this table, because I find that this table use a binary representation. So uh, uh, let's recap a little bit. ASCII code is a seven bit, okay, this is a the lowest bit zero 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 zero. Uh, if we if we count the bit from the lowest to highest, so it's a zero 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 zero. Okay, this is a, a code zero. Uh, it's a norm. Okay, so when we when we deal with this, we can uh, consider uh, uh, the order of ASCII code is from here to here down here. So how many, how many of here in the first column? Uh, so uh, if we look at this, uh, this is represented as four bits that have to be uh, uh, sixteen, right? Sixteen, because the four bits can represent the sixteen. So from zero to fifteen, altogether is sixteen. Okay, so the second column is another 16, so altogether will be the 32, right? So uh, from here to here is uh, another 16, okay, another 16, another 16. So let's try to uh, see, okay, this one, this one uh, is uh, 32, right? 16, 16, uh, starting with zero, so this one is 32. 32. So how do I know 32 and how we can check? So it's called a SP space. So so if you go into the type Python, uh, you can see I have typed uh, uh, something like this. Okay. So this is actually the function we uh, uh, we use to print out a character by giving the uh, the number. Uh, here, if we know it's the co-value, they will s show this, uh, the result. So, chr character um, 33, you can see, is uh, exclamation, exclamation. 
exactly is is this one, right? So the next one will be CHR thirty thirty four. Okay, so uh, so you can see it's actually follow 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 by the ASCII code, right? The order of this is actually the ASCII code uh, table. Uh, you can use another way to examine it. For example, uh, if you uh, want to train your brain uh, how to represent the binary, um, do you remember we use a 0B to indicate a binary? Okay, and uh, let's try uh, this number, uh, this, this one, uh, uh, maybe this uh, M per percentage. Percentage is the binary format is a zero one zero, okay zero one zero, one zero, and it's code this 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 row is zero one zero one, zero one zero one, okay. Okay, I just type uh, exactly the same what the wiki said, okay. So it's exactly this one, right? So what number it is? Uh, if you want to uh, convert it, uh, it's actually, uh, if I copy paste it, it's the 37 in decimal. Okay, so the purpose of do, uh, doing this is uh, I want to train you to understanding the binary representation in the computer system at the same time using the Python programming language to help you to to explore okay this is my purpose so uh, so you can use a CHR so what exactly is CHR is uh, we can use the help to uh, to see its function it's actually you return the Unicode string it didn't say the ASCII code uh, for the reason because uh, nowadays Unicode become the mainstream because of a multilingual world uh, but the Unicode have a mission. Uh, it need to, uh, it needs to be compatible to the ASCII code. Okay. So, uh, so far, don't just don't worry. Just uh, input a, a number. If you know the number, you want to know it's a corresponding character. Okay. Okay. So, what if I want to print out from maybe uh, this? Uh, this line, everything uh, by the computer uh, programming, for example, uh, using a looping, repeating. Uh, uh, because if I know this one, I can by adding one, I adding one, I adding one, I adding one. Okay, so I want you to uh, know a feature in Python uh, called a for loop. Okay, for loop. Mm, later on, we will talk a bit more. Uh, I can use a for and a range, and range range is a, a function uh, or the object method uh, that uh, allow you to define a a, a duration uh, uh, from the beginning point to the end point. Okay. So, uh, for example, uh, uh, I I type my code in. Uh, range. Uh, I'm going to use a binary. Uh, binary zero one one zero b zero one one. Uh, from here, this binary. Uh, I'm going to starting from here. So that will be zero 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 zero. Okay. So when you use range, the first step is to use uh, the starting point, the first parameter. The second parameter will be the end point, but not including that end point. Okay, so I need to uh, specify to here so that uh, that will be that will be from here to the here. Okay, so this one will be zero uh, one one b one zero zero. Zero 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 zero. Okay. So I'll be explained in more detail later. Okay. And let me let me see uh, if I can print uh, print what 
print its binary. Uh, print its binary. Uh, so I'm going to use a bin binary and also use a chr uh, to convert to its uh, ASCII code Unicode I, to see what happened. Oh, it's working. Ooh, it works, right? Isn't it? So see, this one, starting from the zero, uh, uh, is actually this one, right? Oh, this is a video. A video inside a video. <laughs> okay, uh, but I'm just uh, reuse my previous recorded video to help me uh, explain uh, deeper. Uh, this time use the uh, Python language to to kind of dig it out. Uh, the everything. Uh, the mystery of the computer science. Okay, so you can see this one uh, 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 is actually zero one one zero zero zero. This one, right? Okay, so this is uh, the this column this column Sasuke code. So if I if I want to move going on, I can specify the range. Okay, a range to bring all them uh, together. Uh, let's try another one, right? Okay. For example, I, I just want to identify identify from here to z z z. Okay. Uh, so if I use the same approach, uh, but this time uh, I kind of want to use a uh, my intelligence to interpret uh, the starting point of this uh, using hexadecimal. Oh, hexadecimal base is 16. So what's that? That's a 4, right? 4. Uh, so ZX4, 4. But this one, A will be 1. Okay, 1. Row for 1. Okay, but now it's in hexadecimal base base uh, fourteen. But I want to uh, create a range from here to the end of the this. Okay, not including this one. So what is this? This is a five eleven. But 11 this time, I cannot type 11 because it's a hexadecimal. Remember, 11 in hexadecimal is uh, B, exactly. So 5B. Hmm, a little bit nervous. But uh, print bin I. Hmm. But this time, I kind of print one more. <laughs> one more information uh, is hexadecimal representation, also their character to see what happened. Ooh, see, I got uh, uh, literally everything from A to Z, a capital letter uh, from here. It's a binary form, it's a hexadecimal. It's a corresponding uh, letter. Okay. Yeah. Is it that cool? <laughs> I hope that you understand what I'm talking. So, this is the mm, pros of using uh, interactive mode to explore the computer system. But sometimes these uh, tiny little things that make a difference because you understand uh, the how computer handle text better okay so i think that uh, you can you can do a lot of exploration on your own to uh, using the same strategy to print out something you curious about uh, remember when you print out something it's non-printable they won't going to show anything you know because that's a control code okay so i think that's it okay uh, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.